list. Oh, Apple Spring Loaded event the other day. Did you see that? That looked pretty cool, didn't it? This is from The Verge. Um, Apple Spring Loaded event, the eight biggest announcements at the Apple Spring Loaded event. The first thing, of course, first things first to get out of the way is the new iMac beautiful right beautiful designed product absolutely gorgeous um definitely kind of rings true to some of the you know classic imax from back in the day with the brain and the different sort of colored shells the only thing i don't like about it if i'm just being from an aesthetic point of view is this unnecessary white frame around the screen and this chin i don't understand why it just couldn't all be one color right the same color this i don't understand that i think even on the phones maybe the phones is different i think the phones yeah mine is red right so on the phones it's definitely got like a red tint all over it and i think the front no the front's black actually don't get me wrong but still they could have made it they could have done something to prevent it from having such a big chin i'm not too sure why it's got that massive section at the bit there maybe it's for you to stick your post-it notes on it i'm not too sure um the white frame again doesn't look that great kind of makes it look like a big ipad stuck on top of the imac but the design from the side like you know in terms of just you know industrial design and just the lines on it is just gorgeous it looks like the screen is hovering right on that little joint there it's fucking fantastic it really does look special um how it sits is flipping beautiful obviously i maybe just go for the standard silver i think there's something quite cool about that it looks but this is anything i'm not really too fond of it's just a screen and the white frame around it with a little chin but overall it looks great and i even love the thing they've got about the plug i think they've got something about the plug let me see if i can get it up they've got this thing for the plug where if you stick an infinite cable in it you can stick an infinite cable into basically the club the the one of the cable hubs so it doesn't go through the back so you don't have mad wires coming out of it which is great to see um it's a really great way to kind of limit all the cables at the bottom let's see if i can get it up on here but yeah this imac looks flipping fantastic man it looks really 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 good let me see oh let's not get that on there it's gonna play the video on magic isn't it no nope, there we go where is it there we go new imac boom and let's get this over here. If you can see that, let's see if I can get that up on here. Say hello to the new iMac. Whoops. Let's rewind that a bit now. Hello to the new iMac. You've say hello. Say hello to the new iMac. You've never seen a computer like this before. Yeah, it's really that thin. But it's not magic. It's the M1 chip, which is kind of magic. Whoever designed that M1 chip as well, I hope they got a raise because they are milking the hell out of that M1. Don't, don't, don't be surprised if you don't see that M1 chip in their Apple car soon. And it makes the new iMac fast. Like, your apps open instantly fast. Like, check that text while you clean your inbox while you share... Or maybe that's why, you know that little, hold on, you see that little movement, because I said the chin's weird, right? Maybe that little movement, the lady done in the documentary, I mean, in the advert, where she sort of moves the screen, maybe that's the reason why the chin's so big, so it allows you a little bit of space to move it, you know, at the angle that you want it to be at, maybe, I'm not too sure, but still, it's unnecessary, really, and it doesn't need to be that big, right? It's super huge, look at that, that's a huge chin at the bottom there. Fast. Like, your apps open instantly fast. Like, check that text while you clean your inbox, while you share that photo, while you stream that show fast. That's fast. It has a 4.5K retina display for colors that pop off the screen. A 1080p camera. Oh, wow. So you'll look right in any light. And what I wonder how much um, COVID had to do with this being pushed out now. I wonder. Because the event, you know, I only learned about it a couple of weeks ago. I wonder if this kind of got rushed, not rushed, but, you know, they kind of pushed the development of this further forward because a lot of people are spending more time at home, improving the front face camera, having it be very quick and multitasking and stuff, whatever it may be, in case you, you know, you're, you're working with heavy or working with really big files. Maybe there is something in it or maybe because they see long term as well, there's going to be a, definitely a change in shifting people deciding to work from home or work in the office. There's probably going to be a lot of people going to be splitting their time between those two locations. Maybe there's something in it. I think so. There may be something in that idea of just like, hey, let's kind of 
bring this iMac forward and kind of present it in a way that would make it desirable and maybe make it an option for people to buy now that they're going to be spending a lot more time at home and let's make it beautiful so people have something nice to look at because you know working from home can be a bit of a slog but if you've got something as beautiful as that to kind of stare at when you're doing your morning emails it does make things a little bit easier not too sure who knows then you're talking to one person or a hundred the mics always focus on your voice so they hear you that's also awesome. what's around you six speakers and dolby atmos means everything you do sounds great matching keyboard and mouse and wireless touch id boom 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 they have touch id on the keyboard but not touch id on the phones does that mean they're going to return they're going to bring back touch id because that's one of the things i'm kind of missing on my iphone at the moment it's great don't get me wrong but i'm not a fan of the face id thing i'm never going to do something like that even though i have you know i've registered myself on just about every single social media platform that exists <laughs> out there i'm still kind of concerned about my online privacy but the the kind of removal of the home button was a big blow but i'm getting used to this new gesture at the moment now with the new phone but not having the touch id it makes at paying contactless with your phone so annoying the whole double tapping and then putting in your pin code is just yuck just bring back touch id make it a little bit easier to use because that's that was one of my godsend so see back on the keyboard is pretty cool and what happens on your iphone also happens on your imac that's definitely magic this is the new imac oh wait i forgot it comes in seven colors I like the colors too, don't get me wrong. I'm a big fan of the colors. So yeah, new iMac out there. What else was on the list of stuff they had? Um, they also had um, the, 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 the unveils and AirTag item trackers, right? At long last, Apple took the wraps off its long rumored AirTag item trackers, which can track and find my, track them and find my app. You can customize your AirTag with an emoji too. You'll be able to pre-order them for $29 and they'll be available from the 30th of April. You can also get a four pack for $100. Pretty cool, isn't it? Um, funny story, I actually had a, a patent put out I think a while ago, I don't know where, it's probably still available now, I, I, I filed a patent where I did like a similar sort of invention for kind of finding your phone, and I remember a manufacturer back in the day calling me about it, like it was really a long, long time ago, I think I might have been 13 or 14 years old, I made like an invention basically for a little tag that you'd put on, it's basically the idea I think around it was just basically to find your phone too, the tag would be on your phone, and then it'll be like a, I think I had it like a little key ring thing so stick on your phone and then you'd have another thing that you'd basically press and that would alert you to where your phone was but then of course the the issue you'd run into is if that thing fell off your phone and then you pressed it you won't find your phone you just find wherever that thing happened to fall that's the issue so I'd, I'd be curious to see um how they kind of get around that with this but you know I'm sure there's some core cool technology linked to it. Actually, let me just go in the video and see what they say about it. I didn't actually see that bit of the of the show. I saw everything else, but I didn't see that. Go, let's go. Let's go back again. Keys. <laughs> That's cool. I also find it interesting these Apple adverts. I'm sure there's different directors that do them, and they're probably done out of how ha- was that? No, not done in house. I'd imagine. I'm, pr- I'm sure they probably commission people to film these adverts. But it's quite cool that they still manage to f- do them in a very Apple way. I wonder what that is about. Maybe it's because they give you like a um, what's that thing called? Uh, a brand guide or something in terms of how you film it. But they always feel very Appleish, even when they filmed. I'm sure by loads of different people over the years they still have the same kind of feel about them it's a bit sanitized a little bit safe but it's definitely got a signature pretty cool isn't it pretty pretty cool so yeah air tags as well featured in that 
and then what else did we have we had air tags um we had an apple tv 4k is getting an a12 bionic chip we had a redesigned apple tv remote and we had a f iphone coming in purple which is pretty cool and i think as well what the ipad pro right ipad pro with a thunderbolt cable which is flipping amazing which basically means they are slowly but surely getting laptops out of the way in it we're going to be in the future where laptops are basically going to be um you know the f thing of the past it looks like they're slowly but surely trying to get into that direction but that new iMac is special that new iMac is definitely something to behold um that definitely will kind of spruce up anyone's apartment going forward especially so yeah new stuff from apple coming out very very soon if you have the funds go out there and get it if not just cry like everybody else <laughs> cry like everybody else